this is not a spring chicken. I'm just curious, do you think political correctness has hit the back of you when it comes to red carpet season? I think so. I mean, uh, an example is basically an Academy Awards this year, if you see people come out dressed, everybody dressed in shades of gray and black, it's because they, I mean. <laughs> they don't want to look like they're, uh, as, it, as I said, well, LA Times says, with the economy in the tank, and so many people suffering, they don't want to look like they're founding wealth. Well, you know, this is from the LA Times, and they're talking about a gold lame meltdown. And they're talking about what people can expect to see on their red carpet this year. Oh, and this one was written by Monica Corcoran and Melissa um, Magsafe. I have, this would be my 61st Academy Awards this year, 61. And I have seen bad times, and I have seen good times. But mostly what I've seen all of my life is no matter how bad the economy was, the people at the Academy Awards, basically because they're from the land of make-believe, always dressed like there was an important event. Well, part of this is, it is, for many people, it is make-believe, and it's a celebration. It's, you know, it's like, I think a lot of people can look around them and see enough depressing things that they well, want to look. Right. You look, okay, you've lost your job. Your neighborhood that has tremendous amount of foreclosures in it. So what you want to see on television is things that are depressing. Well, I mean, part of it is they're sitting there wondering, it's like, are you not showing that you're sensitive to the other people as well as to the economy? But, you know, why do you think Dynasty was so popular? And, you know, and uh, Dallas. It's all right. about is people want to see, okay, we're putting it this way. Under Obama, it's being published that you will have to accept less for your children than your parents accepted less than for you when you were young. No, that is not how to think. You think, I want to have more, I want to do more. And if when you cut back at the Academy Awards, the bling bling, you say that, you know, these people feel that we're going to go down the tubes, and if they feel we're going down the tubes, and they make believe, what's our future? Because I think sometimes you're so concerned about the yeah. they forget that, you know, that it is for fun. People it love to fun. see it. I mean, I mean Jerome Court, Jerome Court here is going to go It's only I love you. It's only make believe the things that we do. Hollywood has forgot it's make believe. Real life is on the beach where there's nobody at. Well, Make believe is on the TV screen and the motion picture TV screen. It may seem like it was an ancient time, but about 50 years ago, I was at a seminar with Jack L. Warner, and Jack L. Warner said, first thing he said, you know, you give the people what they want, you don't tell them what they should see. And second, None of this is for real. They want to see what they can't see in their own homes. Yeah, I mean, because who wants to tune in to see a bunch of actors and actresses? I mean, well, maybe actors will be wearing black suits, right? Yeah, for and me. tuxedos. But yeah. who wants to see a bunch of actresses wearing just black? Yeah, just wearing everybody. Everybody wearing the same thing. Everybody in mourning. mourning. This I is, mean, I mean, they're predicting this is not that a funeral. the Academy Awards is going to be like a funeral. I mean, oh, well, okay, maybe. last year. Last year was a bad day for the Academy Awards because of the, the strike. strike yes. And this year was supposed to be a redo where they made everything better than last year. This year is going to be worse than last year. Why do you say that? Because they're taking the glamour and everything out of the Academy Awards. Well, wait a minute. Awards. Do you think that's the glamour? Or do you, oh, actually, you know what? They did cut back on events. They like, cut back on events that we could go to. I mean, there was only... A couple of events with outside access and walking around the outside. Oh, that's because everything is secret. Everything is secret. No, but you've got to. Okay, my 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 fam, my, my father was in the a long line of Europeans and Americans. The figure was when things are bad, go for it because you're not going to make anything worse. And so you want to, you know, if you're going to go out, the theory was. If you gotta go out, go out with a bang, don't go out with a whimper. Well, and the things that they're expecting to see with the stars, especially the, the women. Actually, men will probably have a lot of traditional black potatoes. Yeah. But women, they don't expect as much joy. They're gonna be dressing down because of the. But you know what? I don't. It's, 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 it's
But you know, I have to tell you, I have not seen as much diamond jewelry yeah. on the actresses the last couple years yeah. as I had previously. I mean, if they wore a gown, then they might, you know, oh, put her hair back and they do earrings. You know, some of that might that have point? to do with a television actress who wore a set of, she wore, borrowed uh, $700,000 worth of jewelry <laughs> and lost an earring. And in the middle of... It'll make the, you panic? In, yeah. In the middle of the, uh, of the, the store where she was supposed to take it back, she's taking her clothes off. And she said specifically, my husband says, and I, I said, you know, me to strip naked to find that jewelry because I do not, I, we cannot afford it. Well, and it scares you. Well, it is because the actresses, they're, I mean, they're borrowing the gowns. They're but borrowing they are the responsible. Jewelry. Yep. They are. And I so mean, if they don't have it, guess what? Who gets the bill? Okay, a lot of times, okay, you see actresses. You know, you always see the guys with drinks or food in their hands with these uh, things. Right. How many times do you see actresses with drinks or food in their hands when they're walking around? You know, I haven't even thought about that. Because they are responsible for the damage they do to the clothing. Oh. Because those clothes are actually, in a lot of cases, sold a lot of after the thing. And, and it, if you damage it, it can't be sold. But a lot of times they're also one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what else? Leslie, yeah. you, you, are, you don't have as many of those matched ensembles, you know, the earrings, the necklace, yeah. the rings, the bracelets that all go together. Uh, they are also talking about uh, more simple hairstyles, yeah. like this was before with Beyonce, but that, it's a 200 carat diamond yeah. necklace, right? Yeah, but in that case, her chest overwhelmed the diamond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if she'd, she'd have taken a deep breath or raised her arms up, she would have lost her outfit. Oh, her that's, that's true. And then this one here, Jennifer Lopez, um, keeping everything more simple and glowing. But you know, she's Jayla, done that. She's done, she's that, done before, that before. That very same outfit. It's and great. basically, people were mystified that she was able to not show anything. But then again, you know, the experts would tell you about what it was. It was taped in, so they couldn't move. Well, you know how well that tape works. Yeah, I know. Because you you seen actually you you thought before that I had a tape swimsuit on. Yeah, the people <laughs> wait, why don't the swimsuits fall off when she's playing with the strings? This is a family thing, so they are fashioned in. Yeah. They can't. But I, I can play with them. You can play with them, but they're not going to fall off. <laughs> and then the other part is, we know the Stuart White came out with a pair of shoes. You know, for a million dollars, it could wear on the toes. It had a bunch of diamonds. This one, um, Laura Elena Herring, she wore them in 2002. Well, if, if okay, you can figure the Asian lake contingent from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Dragon would not be welcome at this year's Academy Awards Why because you say that? they went all out with the clothes and everything. Well, you know, part of it is, is for some of these people, this is their chance in the well, limelight. Okay. They want to celebrate. They want to have a good time. You be perfectly honest. There are a lot of men and women performers that never wear suits and gowns. Yeah. They've never had them. They don't. And this is the one time, you know, like you know, the guy's wife. Well, I've never seen you wear a tux before. And then the guy, well, God, you, I've never seen you look like that before. Well, you think part of it? I mean, part of it is respect for the celebration itself. It is a tradition. Okay, I can tell you flat out. In most of the things they do on Broadway, they say the Fiddler on the Roof saved Broadway because it brought back tradition. The main oh. song in Fiddler on the Roof Remember is that tradition. Song? The problem is if we're getting too far away from what made things what they were, they're trying to make things responsive, politically correct, and things like that. Our two uh, audience, it is my age, and not a Frank Jake's age, to watch the Academy Awards show. It is not teenagers. No, it's not teenagers. Teenagers they don't, don't watch care. it. They've got other things to do at that time. And aim a show for a 14-year-old. Little acid, I think. I mean, what are we going to have? You know, um, Steven Tyler, you know, come out, you know, in you know, an Ed Hardy shirt with, with a rear end ripped out of his pants. Well, I mean, it's Academy Awards. I mean, this is. You're not going to have that because Mr. Tyler will come dressed in a suit. That's right. Because Mr. Tyler Respect. understands and respects tradition. <laughs>